So, all right, I got my clays uh, mounted in the back of my van, my damaged van. This is where I hit a deer last uh, February. I haven't got the money to get it fixed, so I'm just going to wait until I can. I've got the uh, clays mounted on this board. I screw them down to the board so they don't shift around. And then I got the air conditioning uh, aimed right down on them to keep them cool. I'm taking this additional clay of the, uh, a couple of bears that I did. They're supposed to be grizzly bears, but they're looking more like black bears with grizzly faces. So I'm going to rework those when I get to Gallery in Tahoe. I did them last summer. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm taking to the foundry this morning to get a bid. Oh man, people are actually up at this time in the morning. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to video the coloring of the bronze. At least I'll pick it up where they are when I get there. I'm just going to look over this bronze real quick before they color it. They've already started the process. I did have them go back and, and make a few more strands of hair because they, in the wax stage, they tend to get pushed down flat uh, against the head, and that's how they did say, you know, one of them has that embedded hair. So I took it over to Lance and uh, he extended some of these uh, uh, bits of hair, which is quick dynamite. Uh, we're just getting ready to color it. He put the uh, base uh, coat of uh, it's a cold uh, acid called, uh, it's cold acid called uh, uh, sulfur, liver sulfur, and that turns it all black. And then he rubs back the areas that will be lighter. And he started to add a little color with the acid for the shirt. Uh, that will be knocked back, back quite a bit once uh, wax is put on the, uh, the bronze. But the detail is really good. It came out really nice. You got the uh, wire uh, handle on the uh, pot. Hey, Lance! You did a great job on this. You happy with that? Yeah. I'm happy then. <laughs> good deal. So, uh, we'll be getting started on this in a minute. What he's going to do is sandblast the uh, metal we just worked. Got to get all the uh, impurities off the metal. Nice little handy device. I'm actually just trying to get the impurities off the metal. There we are. Where it's dark on the hair and have that dark like that. Looks like a bleach top. Well, I got to put a little bit in there, right? Like a little pot at a hair. Yeah, of course. Okay, all right, yeah. I don't know, I was just thought there was just pot yeah, in my hair. Yeah, a little pot at you, you don't have to even... It, it makes it look kind of cool. So we're anyway, we're talking back and forth about the coloring because that's what we're working out right now. Putting that first, uh, you know, half of the purple black. Uh, and then that's the base for uh, the uh, bronze coloring. The bronze is actually a sandblaster, it's actually a white metal. And, and because of the copper in it, it will eventually turn green. Things you have to take into consideration. You can't, you know, I, I just 
taking that. This is mine. Yeah. Don't forget to 
puppy a little. The last thing I do. I know. We'll have a bucking party again. Yeah, we'll have a buck party. Oh, the buckles on the uh, thing too. Gotta use a different tool for that. That's fine. video now on this uh, piece. Could you slowly turn it so they can see what it looks like? But anyway, that's the way it looks right now. It'll be all waxed up and that'll change the color quite a bit. So I'll show it later on at the studio once I get it there and uh, that'll be the end of the uh, video here at the uh, concert.